que lo que mi gente, what is good my people, it's your boy, the one and only, Cha Cha Charlie, and you're watching and listening to CCP Podcasting, and when everything's all said and done, we will be celebrating and dancing all night long, it's Cha Cha time. What is happening, friends of CCP Podcasting? It is a wrestling spotlight night. I'm Chris Page. That is John Cable. Blue Eyes, happy birthday. Uh, <clears throat> it is a Thursday night here on our Twitch channel. John, how are you doing? I am doing, sir. It's a, it's a Thursday. The month is flying by already, and here we are yet again to check out a spotlight of a guy that, shocker to everyone, I have not actually watched any matches of. Well, you know, it's not necessarily a shocker, John. Uh, your dive into professional wrestling has been, you know, minimal over the years, uh, you know, because there's just not been a lot out there that uh, that you it's, found. Go ahead. It's mostly been just focused on the business. Like, I don't focus on the stars very much. I focus on the wrestling as an industry, as a business, from the office, from the from the inception of a crowd. It's my focus on wrestling is the product itself, not necessarily the next big superstar. Sometimes, like with Delta, things pop for me and they are important. Uh, you know, we've seen Zack Sabre Jr. matches and I, he's one of my favorite new age wrestlers. That just, it takes a lot to do something for me with a new guy. Well, tonight, you know, Donovan Dijek is going to be our focal point tonight. He's definitely not a new guy. He has been around for a hot minute. But I love the fact that you haven't seen a lot of his work or any of his work because he is a solid fucking big man. And it baffles my mind uh, just how, in my opinion, how the WWE fumbled him. Uh, and I, you know, you know... Before we get into that, we'll get there in just a second. Before we get there, John, I want to do—I do want to say this. Uh, Friday, this drops on YouTube over on, on Monday. So uh, if you're watching on YouTube, this Friday, Beyond the Bell season two is back with Jimmy C at a Riot City Wrestling coming to us from Australia. Uh, fun interview with Jimmy. John, I know you had a good time with that. We actually recorded it about a I month did. ago. I did. I did. It was interesting to to dive in with him and uh, and find out that. He's actually been more involved behind the scenes than he has at ringside, and he's been a pretty major player at ringside for a while now. So, yeah. Um, what else we got going on? Uh, if you're in live in stream with us right now, uh, Saturday, 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, we'll be doing a uh, UK spotlight, British Invasion on Charles Crowley. Uh, Devil and Knight will be joining me, so we got some some spotlights coming. But Donovan tonight is the is the matter at hand. John, I you're gonna be, you're gonna be fucking impressed. Um, I think I did a pretty good job picking out matches. Uh, not to pat myself on the back. Uh, if you don't, it's your first time watching this, so let me give you the rules. They're very simple. Uh, we find stuff that we've never seen before. And matches that we've never seen before, and we watch them and we react to them uh, as genuinely as possible. Uh, <clears throat> we have a lot of fun with these spotlight shows because, much like tonight, we get to introduce people to uh, to talents that they may have never seen before uh, through our on our audience. John's been living under a fucking bridge for the last decade. I don't, I don't know how the trolls belong. I, just, I can't believe she said that, but yeah, you know what? You're absolutely right. It's where, it's where they belong. It's where um, trolls belong. I know my place. Well, let me uh, let me clear this logo, and we can uh, we can get started. Um, the first match that uh, that I went through and I picked out for us to take a peek at. Wait a minute, I'm almost there, guys. I promise. Oh shit! When I closed it out, give me one second. I gotta. Mm -hmm. Page he must fix. There. Page must fix. There we go. We got it straightened out. Uh, just now, need need to put it on the right match. Uh, the first contest tonight. I saw these two 
my first experience with these two was was through WWE uh, NXT. They had a tremendous uh, little rivalry as I shift some stuff around because John vetoed what I wanted to do with the screen tonight. So. I d- look, I didn't veto anything. I just thought that you know, redundancy everywhere wasn't necessarily a great idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. Keith Lee. Donovan, hooking it up. This is coming to us from uh, Beyond Wrestling over on YouTube. Just a favor. If you're watching on YouTube, uh, go down below. Click the link. Go there and give them a subscribe. Uh, they're, they're providing content for us to take a peek at. Uh, I saw their feud in the in NXT, and it, I thought it was fucking phenomenal. It's an awesome big man feud. Uh, so this is prior to the, the NXT signing. Let's go ahead and get it started in three, two, one, play. Won't be in action later on as part of this triple Holy event. shit. Looking very forward to it. Oh, yeah, Jordan. bud. Big money done. Hashtag Big Mike. This is going to be some interesting stuff. Donovan Dijak having a little fun right now. But I have never seen, it's awe-inspiring. I've never seen that electric of a reaction since, and we bring it up all the time, since Big Fusix was within our hollow there locker room and halls and beyond wrestling. And Donovan so Dijak is fix taking everything the banner of beyond wrestling. And he has carried it on his back. And now man, you can tell that that dude is a man of true. usable muscle. He is not Texas. necessarily your gym league. buff. But this God damn if he ain't truck, a big man. dude. And confident, too. Look at him. He's had his swag on a thousand ever since he came out. I hear you're the man here, so you don't get to run. Yes! Oh. Well, all right then. Keith laying down the oh, I like that Donovan Dijak is reminiscent uh, of another Dunkin Texas scene in those old westerns right there. where a gunslinger comes into town based off of the reputation of another man in town, and now he's looking to take him out and take his title. Imagine how it changes things, Keith Lee beating Donovan Dijak tonight. Think about it. It's very possible. I mean, looking at it right now, it seems even I mean, it's a work for him, but he is pushing him back. To budge. Mm-hmm. Keith, Lee. Keith Lee's not even breaking a sweat. And we're used to Donovan Dijak having to reach well, the size it all advantage five over seconds. a lot of his opponents while still staying agile. But size advantage is out of the way. I've never seen a, a situation where Donovan oh. Dijak might oh. be the underdog. No cheap shot there from Keith Lee, and he could have taken it. And that's a psychological aspect right there. He's trying to show him he could have, and he didn't. Oh. Oh. I don't think you and scare right him, Dijak. This is about establishing dominance at the moment. Yeah, well, Beyond Wrestling's not Honestly, I, I don't think you scare him. Dijak's paying rent right now. Oh, yeah. He's trying to add some sections on right now, I think. Yeah, make a few additions, huh? Pretty much. Man. Might have an in-ground pool. Might have an in-ground ring in a little bit. Dijak wing. You know Keith Lee and Jeff Cobb broke the ring at Limitless last night. I have no, no doubt. Yes. No <laughs> way. Yes. And oh I, asked, I asked Top Row Promotions. I asked Steve Ricard. That's who we get our ring from. I said, please reinforce this ring. Oh, mm. my Christ. They are not doing this right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh they're, they're doing it, but Dijak doesn't have enough ass. He's like, hey, let's just run two Mack trucks at each other and see what happens. Well, now what? Now what? What is Dijak Wait, doing? what is... Oh, this is high stakes right now because if he's doing what I think they're doing, if somebody falls, they're hitting that floor. And Keith Lee thinking about it, he does not want to punk out to Dijak. What is Dijak doing? He better, he better be careful he doesn't get knocked through that door. We've already broken one wall tonight. We ain't got time. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, my good, no it's way. Crazy. It's wet on that floor. Oh. The referee's not counting. No way. No way. They are not doing this right now. Keith's not concerned about this. This is Dijak shit to Keith. all the way to the back of Aurora Providence right now. Keith Lee standing square up. They're running for it. These are two big bulls this is right the here. Thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, he just got launched into the merch table. And he took out the merch table. Keith yeah. Lee didn't even get the same running start that Dijak Yeah, he took three and steps and just launched it. Keith Lee trying to make a name for himself right here tonight, and he may very well do that. And beating Dijak doesn't just get you a return booking. It gets you right at the top of the return booking. 
imagine making yourself the ace of beyond Oof. wrestling in one match. That's feasibly that was not said it at the right beginning now. of the match. Look at Don he, Jack you're Jack the man around Sam here. I'm here to find out about table. it. If it's you beat the man, Rick like Flair said I've it, bro. Yeah. Well, both of these two are in the corner. Fuck around and find out right now. And what's the background oh, for on sure. Keith Lee? I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first time I've heard of um, it. I, I, I think it might be High Flyer. Really? I'm at, like, yeah, I wouldn't classify Keith stuff. Lee as a High Flyer. He can fly. How about the Goozle? I think he wrestles primarily for his Yeah, but that's not what I would classify him as. You know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't say... Actually, when Russell you think their, Keith uh, Lee, what comes to mind and high flyer is the thing that, Very good that comes to your brain. As he smiles mm. at oh. all I can think of in comic book comparison. Oh. If you don't think powerhouse monster when you think of Keith Lee, you're, you're, you're screwing it up. Superman face to face with Doomsday, and he finally figured out that his strength from another planet couldn't match up to this beast of destruction. Keith Lee having fun right now. You know, we were having this conversation earlier. Nope. I want to get it off Super my chest. Kick. Mm. Turned him into so to a, well, I guess I'd be a so Sandy Savage. International kick. wrestlers, not a knock on them, but there is so much untapped talent in the United States. I think. I so cannot believe mm. that. Diamond in the rough. You, you, you need that so much there, guys. real quick. <laughs> to keep on going, but I can. Agree I can. With you, man. Built in America. Look at the roster, right? <laughs> Dijak's got the the typical body. The show isn't He's called. got the Mexican typical Colorado. look. He's got the typical haircut. He looks Japan like every other white guy with a buzz it's cut. American, Rana, damn it. A uh, okay. Keith Which looks like every Jeff big black guy that's ever been a wrestler and, and his size. Much. They've Jeff had tons know, of them. Um, Granted, a lot of them have not had the talent that Lee has, has but they've all been shit on by WWE. Can go ahead and bust it down for you if that's the case. Don't put words in my mouth. Mm. <laughs> now, you want to look at somebody right Keith Lee's size? Look at Ice Train. Jeez, I think nice Lee's bigger than Ice Train. And he even still hurt his wrist. Maybe so. I think the story but they're in Pete they're Lee in basically about the same shape-ish. I think Ice Train might have been a little less he flab, but Dijak he was about the same like size. Nothing. And oh, Lee's a monster. He's got mad skill. Agility that Keith Lee wasn't prepared for. And he's going to need every last bit of it. I think he's, he's got to change gears. But Dijak is just like every other Jindrake that's ever been in. Not even as big as Jindrake. Yeah, actually, you're, you're absolutely correct. Ugh. He has Getting it closer. Damn, what is this guy made out of? Every time Dijak lays in a strike, he ends up hurting himself. Well, I mean, density, homeboy. <laughs> this is Keith Lee is a this dense is, uh, dude. Keith Lee's first East Coast you're going to hit him, and you're going to do damage to yourself. Cobb, we'll be seeing competing later on tonight, as mm. well as Big Demo. So bringing in a lot of Haas talent from all ends of the country and all over the globe. A lot of man meat. And just Keith Lee swapping him <laughs> a lot of man like meat. he's a fly, like he's annoying him. So he switches that up. That boot had a lot of meat in it. He's going to have what. to try and go outside the box. The power game. It's just ridiculous. And then look at him. Look at how much mass you have to chop down on Keith Lee just to be able to affect him. Yeah, Keith Lee comes with gut mail plus three. You got to get the through the arm. The Irish whip, the ring is saying, come on. No way. Nice. Great Shuki movement here by Lee. Commentary station. Dijak's having a hell of a time fighting this guy. I'll tell you what, Shuki is one of the most well-traveled wrestlers. Like, he hasn't stopped United fighting, States but he hasn't made any progress. So hasn't been good. <laughs> you know you're onto something special. That's there, Keith Lee right now. There are 150 pounders that don't have that kind of athleticism to be able to do leapfrog, drop Facts. down, drop kick. With that and this dude's like 300. The way that he just went ahead close and dropped down. I'm amazed. Oh, see the sweat mm. fly. Yeah. That was a mean spray. Dijak looks like he's in, another, he's in another dimension. Sometimes wrestlers come into a promotion and they have what I like to call a resume match. And that is exactly what he's putting on right now. Mm -hmm. Ask about Keith Lee. Because he's putting on for the city right now. Fact. He's, he's like, well, I got to borrow right a few minutes it. here. I'm going to make sure these bitches look good. God. My goalie chop the glisten. Off of that oh, he's okay. just, My oh, fuck. I ain't mad at him, too. Keith that shit had to have hurt. Keep looking, keep looking like he having fun. The fans have turned on Donovan Dijak. I, I yeah, I mean, Lee that. is a monster. He's undeniable. Sometimes the fans get so bloodthirsty they forget who they're being bloodthirsty on. It doesn't matter who. Look at him. Uh -oh. Big mistake. <sighs> Why would you do that? I don't know if the Why back's not better that? than the, the chest. I don't know. That's, yeah. I think broke both of his shoulders. 
Up and over. Backflip through. Die jack with the boot. Big, Big elbow. Gets so caught. Ooh. Big palm thrust to the gut and a pancaking. I, I seriously hope nobody delivers on any of them. Jesus. Big spine buster just, just two count. by his calls him up by the abs and just drops him down. Keith Lee really showing me something right here. This is my first time ever seeing him in action. And my Keith God, he's doing delivering. what Keith does he too. He's keeping it at a good Already. steady pace. Already. He's keeping a hold of the, the reins of the match. He's making him work the Same match he wants him to work. We got three and he's not giving on. him any room to play with. Delivering in space right now. And if mm. you don't know who Keith Lee is now, you need to get on it. Google, do what you need to do. I think any of the three matches could have gone on last. I, I, I put them in order based on uh, how far everybody traveled. So, uh, oh, makes sense. I think that's fair. Makes sense. California's farther from Texas. Absolutely. Mm. The nice geography lesson. The what, UK's farther than California. Hold on, hold on. What is he about to do? What is he about to do? Uh, moonsault. Standing moonsault. Come on! Okay, if the Just big men are taking all the flippy moves and, and the martial arts moves, what I got? What I got, man? Nothing, bro. What I got? You got nothing. You got an unmatched speed. There you go. Is probably a good year to retire. That's, yep. that's it. Sounds good. Either that or wrestle Keith Lee. Wrestle Keith Lee. I, I ain't about that life. I'm not about that life right now. That crater life where you just get funneled into dust? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put it like this. I know Beyond Wrestling doesn't have a wellness policy. I'm going to need a lot of downtime <laughs> to get to that size. Like this, even if you don't have life, life insurance, he'll put you in the ground for you. Pretty much. That's the guy who can make it happen for you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> God, this guy. Yeah, no worries about the cost of burial, I'll tell you what. He's too big to hide. Mr. Rain. He's too big to hoist up on your shoulders like that, too. He even oh, he still got him. Yourself, the sir. hesitation when he tried to go ahead and get him over just to be able to sit Came up. Came in on, on the first bomb. match, Why sir. Why is he going to get him up for Feast Your Eyes? That's exactly what I just thought. The same exact thought is there's no chance now that Dijak's going to be able to hit Feast Your Eyes. So... The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Dijak's gonna have to knock them out. But you know what? This I mean, you know my plan for a big man. Yeah, take out the knee. Take out the wheels. Kneecap, kneecaps all night. <laughs> all fucking night. I want that leg gone. He's gonna have to come up with something in the toolbox to be able to put this thing away. If you hold your weight on your right, I want to eat the right. If you want to hold your weight on the left, I'm gonna eat the left. Depends on you, buddy. Which one you want? Fourth, I don't know, hang off the I've never like seen him. To do last month. I've never seen him struggle with an opponent so bad. Though. You there you go, Mr. Ray. You know, whoever he wants at any given time. I mean, look at the opponents that he's wrestled over the last year from Beyond Wrestling. Eddie Edwards, Biff Music, Brian Fury, John CJ Gresham. Parker, Jonathan Gresham, Chris Hero, JT Dunn. Oh! Kicked him right on top of the head. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, but he didn't get a lot of distance on that. That could have been really bad for the boat. He's got to find a way to keep this man horizontal because you can't use size against someone when you're on your back. That's facts. Was looking for a standing moonsault press. I think that could have been more effective. Jeez, man, this is this is ridiculous. Because you would have think if he came body to body, you think he would have even knocked down Keith Lee? I, 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 ain't no telling. He had to come. He had to come through. No way. Oh, well, he's going for it. This okay. is not real worthy if he gets him up there. Reversal into the arm. Oh, yeah, no. Keith Lee, with the Keith Lee has no problem. Oh! oh. Up and Jack down. Jackhammer by Keith Lee. Oh! I two count. Did you see the recoil on Dijak's that? got enough in the yes. tank to kick. Yes. How could you not? The ring reverberated when he went in and slammed Damn. And that was impactful. Look, you can get a little dry oh, yeah. and patch it up. But what are you going to do when you break the floor? You gonna you gonna roll in a cement truck here to to lay concrete? I don't know how that stuff works, man. I'm just calling what I'm seeing. Dijak thinks he's safe on the floor. Keith Lee. Dijak's not safe anywhere in the and ring with the Keith Lee. And I like this about Keith Lee. I don't think anybody's safe in the ring boy. with Keith Lee. He, he just he looks like he's just destroyed. He know what he came here to do. No, to not unless you got like a, a, a hatchet. Didn't study his tapes Maybe with a hatchet. Yeah, maybe he did. Maybe he did. I didn't give enough credit. He hasn't stopped smiling since the match started. <laughs> oh yeah, Keith's enjoying himself. This is a pleasure night for him. Oh well, that's you get oh, on the head. And the, the ref goes knocked. into the camera. The top of the head, and Kevin Quinn takes a takes an errant accidental I shot. That, I don't think that was intentional. If it was, it would have been JT Dunn doing it. Oh God, Keith is not about to fly right now. Everybody's taking him. Oh my God. Is that? Ladies and gentlemen, good night. 
Is that crowd members? I think it's security, but... Wow. I mean... The ref, the wrestler, and like five other motherfuckers took that shot. And they're all on the floor right now. Okay, we literally had to walk away after what it was that we just saw. That was a tope sunset suicida by the 304.5 pound. Yeah, over 300 pounds, you flying over top ropes in the crowds of both, bro, you are a dangerous weapon. And it doesn't stop. And look at how many people he wiped out on the oh. floor. Tornado oh, he ate that, though. Dijak. Dijak needed that little bit of momentum there. Oh, damn. He almost threw him into the Pop up electric chair. Pop up power, bro. Sit down, power, bro. Rope. Last the second, he grabs the ropes. Savvy of Donovan Dijak. Instead of expending the energy that he arguably may have not even had, he grabs the rope to break it. And I agree. The fans are telling. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. <laughs> Tell you what, beyond this wrestling. This is Keith Lee's, was, I guess it's beyond man. wrestling you debut. Like Dijak's doing his job here. Exposure. He's making him look like a rock star. No, oh, like an absolute monster. You think but once you finally get that opportunity, our, this guy's Because Dijak's be established here at this point. They've been talking about it all night. Lee coming think, in on his debut Dijak here lands entire credence to his career and his portfolio. The phone, Skips Keith all of the build and puts him right in that tier. Oh shit. Oh. Jeez. Oh! The extension! Oh, oh, wait a minute. There. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He can't hold him. Can he hold him? He's got he got him. Look, feast oh. your eyes. Let's go. One, two. And okay. that's it. He got the one that mattered. Yeah, he was fighting from the bottom the whole fight. He got the he got the one that mattered. Boom. And let's go to Denver, Colorado for the decision. I should have put this on last. I should have put this on last. That's probably a bet. God damn. They both well, had that, yeah? We'll follow this, this fuckers. Yeah, no doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have not already. I mean, if you're Dijak and you know enough, you've got Keith Lee in the ring to tonight, your you're definitely list. going out there like a main eventer. Who to wrestle? This man has shown me something here today. I'm, I'm on the Keith Lee bandwagon. Yeah, even in the loss, Keith Lee looks like an absolute fucking monster in there. But the story here I don't think it hurts him at all to compete at a level with Dijak in a place that Dijak has made himself a household name in. No, he just made himself a household name in the same house. Yeah, without hurting either one of them in the in the eyes of the fans or the latter. Which is the best possible outcome, without burying anyone, making both of the guys in there look like top tier talent. Mm -hmm. And the fans are cheering for him, that's what's up. Get the handshake at the end, the whole nine, I like it. Hell of an ass beating he took to get that win though. He got it though. Now there's your chance. Please come back. That's Please what I'm talking about. All right. Let's put a pause on that one. Uh, how about Brian Cage? Brian Cage. All right. And Donovan Dijak. This is uh, still at Beyond Wrestling. I don't know how many feds we're going to see. I know I pulled a limitless match. It's from somewhere. Uh, I just don't know where it is on the run. There may be a couple. but uh, This is what Cage and Donovan. Let's make it happen in three, two, one, play. In Beyond Wrestling, the last half of the show is uh, is other promotions of Beyond Wrestling. A Beyond Wrestling okay. card as a singles competitor, and right now I'm being joined by one half of the American Destroyers. Donovan I mean, the man Parker, is a muscle Mikey on top Wick. of another muscle. 
Yeah, Dijak's been looking forward to this match, but all he's been talking about lately is Riddle. Riddle, Riddle, Riddle. So I don't know where he is as a mindset. I don't know if I'd call him a freak, but he is a muscle-bound motherfucker, that's for sure. That man lives at the gym, and he did not ever miss a leg day. He wants his hands on Riddle tomorrow, and if that means... Taking Cage out so that he can take his spot. You see the tree trunks that man's standing on? I'm very familiar with Brian Cage. He's one of the. I mean, the, the shoulders are one thing, but those <coughs> fucking legs, bro. Like, those things are crushing. Against an opponent who is a complete freak in Brian Cage. Well, I mean, Dijak's never lacked confidence, but I'm just hoping that his confidence doesn't get him carried away here and he looks past this guy because this guy's an absolute freak. Well, Donovan Dijak was undefeated in singles competition, in all competition, had not been pinned or submitted in Beyond Wrestling Ring. Mm -hmm. At all Beyond Wrestling live events. Got him. Back Backed him up in the corner. To April of 2015, that all came to an end. The finals of Beyond Wrestling tournament for today. And a lot of people say that it's because he stretched himself too thin that particular day, not only entering himself to prove that he's the best singles wrestler in Beyond Wrestling, but also accepting the open challenge alongside yourself. That was I am at uh, 315, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Back waist lock. I was a little ahead of you somehow. That if Donovan Dijak wants to get back oh, to you wins, were. I forgot to tell you to back it up a little bit. Brian Cage. Okay. Brian Cage has his way tonight, he's going to see to it that Donovan Dijak does not compete t tomorrow, not the other way around. Yeah, I absolutely agree that he's got Dijak to cinched in on that tonight. front face lock like nobody's business. He's like, right. no, I don't want to let go of nothing. Trades the face up. for the arm, so like really still doesn't let go, but there's a rope. And he can't get that loss to Riddle out of his head. But as a tag team, you guys are virtually invincible. I mean, even yourself, you know, leading the team of the New England Pro Wrestling Academy graduates tonight and coming up short, against OI4K and Scarlet and Graves. I mean, do you think the best bet is to, you know, don't worry about your singles career, don't worry about representing the That school, guy looks like he should be in a Raiders get-up for Borderlands. Together as a tag team, or is it a situation Ooh. where you guys feel like you're set as a tag team, you feel oh. you're infallible, so you want to improve on everything. Fiery off of Max well, set or Dijak something. Dude, Dijak is loading in. Yep. huge career aspirations, so I understand that he's got to go out there and do his thing. And us together, we are oh. because that's what happens. When a machine wasted together. that time. You were introduced into Beyond Wrestling because Donovan died. Should have just kept kicking. With that number one position, as the Ace of Beyond Wrestling felt that there was nobody that he could trust. They could wrestle into the, the corner. Watch mm. his back. Oh! And right now, it looks like he needs your help. Rick around a takeover. Big scoop slam. Cage now turning the momentum. He was built at. Come on, the guy's like 300 pounds. Of oh, pure muscle. Of pure muscle. He's got less than 5% body fat. And he's fearless, which makes him so dangerous. Donovan Dijak, Ooh, a oh. competitor of his size, you don't normally see. Not the clotheslines I'd like either, to eat in the so, corner, thank I mean, that's you. That's why this is such an intriguing matchup. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I have never oh. seen someone who can move around quite like Dijak. Roll up. Oh. 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 What Brian oh, is doing to him right now face the drop kick right there across the center. Horrible pin, just a two. He's taller, he's got a longer reach, and I think it's going to be Dijak's favor if he can try and stick and move for the time being. He uses long limbs to try and attack from a distance. One second, I'm going to go grab another drink. Brian Cage. And you yep. also think, okay, a wrestler the size of Brian Cage, this guy's going to gas out maybe 10, 15 minutes. Nope. No, this guy's a cardio freak, too. He can go the distance, so I don't think that conditioning is going to play a factor in this match one iota. No, it's real. Oh! Holy shit, the strength. That was impressive. That was impressive. For a blockbuster, taking a page out of the Fusix playbook, and instead he was plucked out of midair and driven down by the Swolverine. You know, one of the things mm. to me that's always a factor. Coming into a match like this, especially when Brian. Oh, Dijak's returning the favor. Is whether fatigue is going to be a factor. Oh! Oh, he just hurled him over he the had top rope. Difficult schedule getting here today. He's been up for 24 hours straight. 
And I mean, in order to stay in shape like that, you know he's gonna be in the gym every day. You know that all of his meals have to be portioned and timed out perfectly. So the fact that he's able to accomplish everything he does as a professional wrestler is as successful as he is. That was an impressive little series there of strength between both of these two. Not and with a double axe handle. But that's a lot of things I see with Donovan Dijak, too. I mean, the guy is constantly working. I mean, that is probably why this match is as even as it is. Donovan Dijak stalking Brian Cage on the floor. Mm. And it could get ugly out there. Oh, here comes Cage. Brian Cage stunned him with a kick to the midsection. Rocked him with a punch to the face. Donovan Dijak, that's what I'm saying, though. He's going to use his longer limbs to strike from a distance. It's such a huge advantage that he has. Donovan Dijak throwing Brian Cage back into the ring. Brian Cage looking to retreat, but the unique environment of Beyond Got Wrestling him. fans surrounding the ring, there's not really many places that you have an option to go to. And there he is, referencing Dijak Matt talking Riddle that shit. And saying, you think this is about you? And if I was down there, I think I'd tell him, Dijak, you gotta focus. Brian Cage is the guy now. Well, I certainly appreciate your insight up here, doing commentary from the balcony. We've got the best seat in the house. We appreciate all oh, the fans that check nice. out the shows at YouTube.com. Athleticism right there by Dijak. And I wonder if Donovan Dijak was able to knock the win out of Brian Cage. Or Brian Cage is so thickly muscled if he's going to have to hit him somehow even harder. I don't know how you hit somebody harder than that, though. Donovan Dijak. He's got his eyes set. Mm. And now trying to target the neck. Which isn't the worst strategy because if you do damage to the neck, you can sap some of the strength out of yeah, all Yeah, Dijak has is, is got to, he's well. keeping the pace slowed it's down and it's ground and pound. For sure. Off this gets into a, a situation where Brian Cage can throw Donovan Dijak around. Uh oh. Dijak's. Uh oh. No, he got caught. And, well, overhead suplex. But instead, it's Dijak taking a page out of Brian Cage's playbook. But, given the size difference, how much did, how nope. much did that take out of Donovan Dijak? Uh, I mean, a lot. He looks I mean, exhausted right now, and he didn't even he didn't even get hit with that maneuver. He was the one performing it. Brian Cage is a big, big man, and Dijak knows that. Mm. Sometimes when you grind your elbow into the nose and the eyes of your opponent, pin like that, it's not going to give you any better leverage. You can't get frustrated. It makes it harder for your opponent to breathe. Their eyes start to water. It makes it harder to see. That's right. It's going to be me. Of course, Donovan Dijak does not have an announced match tomorrow in Worcester, Massachusetts. Would you prefer to see him against Riddle, or do you want to team with him? I mean, mm. I always want to team with him, but I got to support him. But I Cage he fighting back right now, or he's not going to be ready for any match tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable! No, oh, my God! And elevation, and never mind the long limbs of Donovan Dijak. Brian Cage with the with the, the, the drop kick. kick. This guy can do a lot for a big man too. Oh! oh. Well, that could have been the knockout shot. Good night. One, two. Cage in the nick of time able to get the shoulder off the mat. Out of nowhere with that shot. Donovan Dijak. Desperate times call for desperate measures. We've seen him connect with a top rope moonsault. He's thinking better of it. But is he taking too much time Coming making up. that decision? Yeah, he is. I mean, this is Dijak's advantage, though, going to the top rope, doing things that guys his size can't typically do. Well, you would think so, but Brian Cage is probably on a short list of guys his size that can. Oh, oh shit, he tried it, but he missed. Oh, no. I don't know what you call that. Look at the calf kick out of Brian Cage. I think he might have been playing possum, and now Dijak is paying dearly for it. No. Telegraph the back body drop. Oh, Big again boot. the extension. And the release German suplex. Your boy's getting beat up right now. Oh, shit. Dropped him right on his head. Hooks the leg. Great coverage on the lateral press. I was close. I was close. You know, for a shit. long period of time, I was going to hold Donovan right Dijak, especially his early days in Beyond Wrestling, reminded me of the Terminator. But Brian Cage, Cage bouncing off the seat. ropes, getting him up, up, up and over. No hands. Holy shit! These two are, are already just. And Art at the Armory has come unglued. 
just trying to top each other. Anything you can do, I can do better. So, again, Brian Cage, just an anomaly. Donovan Dijak set up on the apron. He's not safe there. As Brian Cage is going to be looking to elevate him from the second rope, perhaps even a stalling superplex from that position into the ring. There's no way. He's too big. Does Dijak have it scouted? Inside out suplex. Full extension and everything. Dijak colliding in the center of the out. ring. Doesn't get much closer than that, Mikey Webb. Oh. You get cocky, machine. You know what the thing about Brian Cage is, is that he's got so many tricks up his sleeve that he's just getting started. What else has he got? What else could he do to die, Jack, right now? Oh, I was looking for a big elbow drop. Nothing that did happened. not happen. And Donovan die, Jack. Oh! There's, there's the elbow drop. Three stories in the air, and he still couldn't get the Springboard elbow drop off the top rope. Athleticism at its finest. I think Dijak has to stay on him right now. We can't let this guy breathe. Well, it's done him and Dijak. We can run off. Dude, you've missed uh, a pretty pretty solid affair so far. I have no doubt. I, I needed a drink, Sometimes and I needed a body. I have... Uh, I have seen the best move of the night so far. Dijak setting up for a blockbuster. Leaps off. Cage catches him in midair and holds him for a stalling vertical sequence. It was fucking fantastic. No. Misses. But so did Brian Cage. And they're going to have a series of misses. Oh. Mm. No. Dude, he landed all of that right on his knees. That hurt Dijak as much as it hurt uh, Cage. Well, you wonder what kind of damage was done. Not only hitting that maneuver, but missing it so many times. Mm -hmm. As we approach the 13 minute mark. Yeah, they're definitely battling. Like going the distance. You gotta think there's not much gas left in either of their tanks. And now perhaps it's time for Brian Cage to feast his eyes on Donovan Dijak's knee. I think that's what Dijak's got going right now. He's gotta stop messing around. Is this a smart strategy to let Brian Cage get up on his own accord? Do you the Dijak's taking way too to much time. To a vertical base. Obviously that backfired. Well, like, I get talking shit, three, making your opponent three, feel inferior, but do that when you won. Oh! Oof, damn. There's the discus lariat! Donovan Dijak taking off his feet. Nowhere and that's go. what you get for talking that mm. shit. He said, I'm gonna beat your ass, motherfucker, and that got clobbered Boy, by Brian Cage's lariat. I've, I've never seen Dijak make that many mistakes and let his opponent breathe so much. And Brian Cage is taking advantage of every moment I'm that Dijak's you, man, right in. now. He might as well be in a two-on-one match against not only Brian Cage, but Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle, not even here tonight, is in Donovan Dijak's head. Nope. And Brian Cage is Just living in his back. head. Dijak slips off. If he can connect with it, it's over. Oh! Oh! One, two, three, no! No! Foot under the rope. Again, when you've got two athletes yeah, this good luck size, with that. Mm -hmm. it doesn't surprise me to see I mean, so he might have landed the one, and he might be dazed, he might be groggy, but hitting another one of those right up. after. Ah. Do we take the extra couple seconds luck, to go away? <coughs> Do you go right for the pin? He hooked the inside leg instead of the outside one. That could have been a fatal mistake for Donovan Dryback. Donovan Dijak again saying, this isn't about you. It is about him. You're in the ring with him right now, man. I don't. What's this? I, I can't. I, I've never. I think Donovan Dijak's trying to apply the twister. I mean, Donovan Dijak is gifted as he is. He's not an MMA fighter. I, 
This is a clear statement he's trying to make with Matt Riddle. Well, if he can defeat Brian Cage here tonight with Matthew Riddle's submission finisher, that twister, look, he couldn't even get the leg lock. And they don't even look like legs. They look like telephone poles, maybe even thicker than that. The tree trunks. <laughs> Instead, that part, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And now he's got his opponent on his shoulders. Whole ass oak trees. Hit him with the F5. Yeah. And now Dijak has lost his window of opportunity. He's not Matt Riddle. He's Donovan Dijak. He's got to remember that. The discus nope. lariat misses the mark. Oh, the super, super kick. kick does not. Mm. Dijak's going to try and tough it out. Oh! Instead of taking Cage Dijak down, no Cage sells the whole fucking the thing, and up he goes. Donovan Dijak looking for the go to sleep. Instead, he ate a knee of his Locks own. Locks it. The Steiner screwdriver. Come on. Mm. That was and solid. That's it. What is happening with Donovan Dijak? Ryan Cage with that block. Massive win Rebel, for him here. you get down there if you want to check on Donovan Dijak. Yeah, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. He just got his neck cranked. That was solid. That was uh, that was a, 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 a I love that match. All throughout professional wrestling, the independent scene, pro wrestling, gorilla, and lucha underground. I don't think anybody expected him. All right, put a pause on that. Next match, still in the land of beyond wrestling, uh, Donovan Dijak taking on Jonathan Gresham. I'm a big Jonathan Gresham fan, as you're well aware, John. Um, and I thought that this one would be interesting because both the first two matches uh, were bigger guys. And I wanted to see him work with... Uh, and Gresham is very not that. Yeah, not to but, knock his talent. Oh, ridiculously definitely. Ridiculously talented in the ring. But a very different opponent than fucking uh, Brian Cage and Keith Lee. Very, very different opponent. Exactly. I want to show... I want to see if there were different, you know, styles to the game based on the, the, the opponents that he's in the ring with. And this fits that bill, so uh, let's get this going. In three, two, one, play. He has usually had the As this gets started, I'm going to refill my drink and I'll be right back. He's booked against. And yep. I Your turn. Yeah. Different versus Jonathan Grissom, but Grissom trying to make a statement, well traveled, oh, and he's not backing down. He ain't taking no shit. Did he just? Put yeah, no. Grissom is not one to be intimidated. Oh. He does not care if you throw him. God, he does not care if you beat him right up. Now. He does I not care if you're much, much Grisham larger than he. This, this that does not affect one, Jonathan Grisham. From maybe Timothy Thatcher. Um, that's what I'm telling you right now. I mean, the biggest opponents I've ever seen Gresham wrestle were probably myself, the Emperor, and Timothy Thatcher. Yeah, I mean, this is the, <laughs> this guy. Oh, and he got like six inches on me. Pretty much. <laughs> and you're. And you're, and I mean, you're well versed on Grisham. You guys have had wars all over, especially in WWE Four. And I'm, I'm trying to tell you, like, this is going to be a whole different game for Grisham. He's going to want to ground this as soon as possible. So Zajac is not one to play with. Look at him; he's just using that height advantage on that knuckle lock over there. Yes, he is, and that's the thing about Gresham. Gresham usually he'll break you down and take you down to the mat and work on some type of body part, but. Dijak is so huge, how would he even get him to the mat? The kneecaps, the baby. Right kneecaps. Now. Big drop kick to break that. All arm. in the kneecaps. To break the arm lock is what I should say by Grisham. Already with a low center of gravity, so easy for him to go ahead and get under. Now, I got to tell you, Grisham wants what Dijak's got. Dijak right now has the young lion spot in the house of truth. And you got to mm. believe that Grisham getting a victory Just over somebody that Gresham Dijak in the corner. get him to that spot from being featured on Future of Honor to being on Ring of Honor, if you get what I'm saying. Yeah, that's definitely will go a long way. If he can defeat Donovan Jajak tonight, uh, that will definitely boost his status within Ring of Honor since he is the Future of Honor. Oh, but definitely so. Let me see. Really? Old Johnny Saint move right there, going ahead and putting the putting up the, the, putting the slow pedals on that right now. Oh, oh he's dead weight in the shit out of it. It's just pure momentum and physics right there. Oh! Oh! oh. And Gresham, there's the threat right there. Even to Dijak, Gresham, Gresham is absolutely a threat. To be able to go ahead and take this big man off, if he can do more of this throughout this match, I guarantee you Gresham will run away with this one. Oh! Smart move right there by Gresham. Picking the leg. Oh! Drop kick right to the Right in the hamstring. And notice he didn't just... <laughs> 
And notice he didn't just use his, his feet to go ahead and take him off with that drop toe hold. He used his whole body. And it's going to take stuff like that. He's going to have to leverage everything in order to get a mile on Dodge. And he is not happy. Back on his feet, though. Whoa. Trying to make him down again. Oh, God. And Dodge planting his feet. Oh, it's helping him. Big Goozle right there, and he's, he's choking him out. That's got to be illegal. Come on, ref. Ref count slow it down. What's going on? Is oh, that, mushing him. Is that you, Sean? Yeah, no, you oh. cannot sleep on Gresham. He is, uh, he may be underdog every Gresham time he fights, slaps. but there's still a lot of dog in the fight. Gresham Do not get it twisted. Right now. Oh, my goodness. Oh. That part, right there. Flying boot by there by Gresham. Oh. And again. Mm. Yeah, Dijak was doing great, slapping the shit out of him, but Gresham started flying around, putting those boots to task. Dijak's got a hell of a fucking fight on his hands. That little dog will brawl. If he keeps knocking Dijak down like that, the real Goliath is going to be Jonathan Gresham. And here he comes. Oh, that was not a good thing. This is not good. Oh, and that's the one thing that Gresham's really got to watch slings. out for, being Jonathan his size. Dijak can throw him around like a body bag so, and will uh, happily do, do so all night. Yeah, He's got to be so careful. Right there and there. And just like that in a split second. Jeez, man. That's that just not playing. And you think he that has a ton of tools in his advantage. He's got all the things he needs to work this match and win it. But Gresham has to stay away from those big shots. Recently, Juice Robinson, now New Japan Pro Wrestling. Dijak is not to be denied in a Beyond Wrestling ring. He's not playing games right now. He hasn't. And he made some quick work of other people here in Fed. And open challenges, I believe. And here's my thing. This is what I love about wrestling. On paper, this should be this should be easy. This should be easy to call. But you can't put on paper the kind of heart that Jonathan Grisham got. The world traveled, well wrestled, calamari catch king trying to do his thing. Oh, big shot. Oh, Gresham is still trying. Oh, uh -huh. he knocked him into that. Gresham's got to watch out it. taking those forearms. Those are big, that. mean, nasty shots. You say it's ass and titties. Ass and titties. Ass and titties. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta go back. Bring it back. Gresham is continuing to fight back. I mean, the one thing about Gresham that's very. That people yeah, he is, will fight you all day. Does not out. give a flying fuck. He, has a lot he will of power just fight in you. His strikes. Oh. Gresham, you got me all ratchet up here. Man, I can't, I can't even believe I'm not right Gresham. Now. I am the emperor. Stop it. Thank you. Stop it right now. <laughs> but Gresham is the emperor. Dijak holding his mouth like, damn, where the fuck did all that shit come from? Showcase you know, up dude? in here. I ain't got time. And he is clawing at Dijak. No. Look at the fighting spirit by Jonathan Gresham. He will not stay down. No, Gresham, he will continue to fight. Now he's chopping the leg. Hey, wow. hey, if it's Charlie Horse's leg, that'll work. I'll take it. Oh. Ooh. And I'm here to tell you about Jonathan Grisham. There are guys that Dijak love just being a bully here now, which Grisham suits the fight, but, the size. but it doesn't man. matter. If you got heart, if you got determination, if you got skill, that's the reason that's got him wins over opponents that have had that size like Dijak. And I won't count him out for a minute. If I'm looking at this, I say it's a 50 50 match, even with Do Jonathan Grisham down and out right now. Well, I'm telling you right now, Shook, this, this shit right here ain't 50 50 no more. He is straight mauling him like a bear. I mean, he's pissed, he's pissed off. Let's, let's just be fair. I never underestimated Jonathan Gresham. He's, he's always took a lot to, to me to my limit, but right now I can't see no way of him coming back in this match. Oh my goodness. God, it's almost like he's annoyed by oh, Gresham at this point. God, he's just toying with him right now. Oh, jeez. Oh. And Gresham just matching him shots here. As often as he can shoot back, he's getting one in. Any other man. Oh. Any other right man the stairs. Right now, I had a close encounter with those steps too. They are not helpful. This has been a scrap. I'm looking for anybody to walk on my back. This oh, way. dude, Gresham's always a scrap. That's exactly okay, okay, but a win is a win. I still came through, right? He has, through, he has right? a mighty mouth like syndrome so no, bad, no, dude. No, 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 no. Jeez, man. Dijak is just a mountain of pain. Ladies, I'm serious. He's a hell of a technician. Back, I'm up here. I'm at the well, I'm not discrediting his, his abilities, but he has Mighty oh, Mouse Syndrome so bad, bro. Like, he feels like he needs to prove everything to everybody all the time. He's got to fight Kevin too hard. Kevin super relaxed with the, with the count out right now. I mean, I know he doesn't want to He doesn't want to see this end on a on, on a, a dirt finish. You know, he wants, he wants a decisive winner. I think he's a little intimidated by Dijak, to be 
be out. Wouldn't you? Oof. Wouldn't oh, you? Gresham firing back now. With the, oh, back down again. Jeez. Just gave one shot. Hey, merch matters, man. Hashtag merch matters. Watch out for the merch. Yeah, the merch. This man, man, this dude gonna start spitting the blood in a minute. A man can't take that many strikes to the kidneys in the back like that. I can't believe that, Jack. He is just wearing Gresham out. Oh, mm. Is that an opening right there? Mm. Oh. Kevin Quinn has got to get order in this match. You see that though. Dijak yeah. <laughs> the strikes are starting to take effect on him now. He's got to chip away at him. I guess you're right. I'm so worried for Jonathan Gresham right now. I'm serious. I don't. Well, he's like, taking a beating Gresham right now. now. I like the fact that his. I mean, his time have you ever Japan seen a Gresham match really where he didn't him take him a beating oh, for a while? Calling him out about disrespect. Several, but I, can I get where you're going. Like, this is, I mean, he's good at there's it. There's a massive and size he's, differential he's here. How to throw his whole body into his strikes. But that's also, and, and, to me, that's a piece of what makes this match so fucking intriguing. Man, but he's never got into an outright brawl. Is the Jay. is the and size differential? The what can Gresham do to get some oh, offense? God. Oh, God. He's just hammering him right now. Fight like a demon, and he does that real good. What do you mean kill him? He's already killing him. I ain't seen a beating this bad since Drake released back to back on Meek Mill. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh. Anyway, do, do not, do not try to anyway, take up for Nicki Minaj's no, boyfriend. Okay. No. Come on, man. Oh. Not the stage. Uh -oh. oh. I mean, you already beat the hell out the man already. Now you're trying to end his career. There's no reason to take oh. him up there. Oh, and Gresham's still fighting about it. Yeah, he is. Done. I mean, Gresham's like, bro, you're in striking distance. So, <laughs> you know, sometimes it comes a point when you're in a match that you even if you can only hit your kneecaps, you're still within striking. Sometimes distance. you just got to take that L. Dijak just do not care right now. You can't tell him Gresham nothing. Gonna take this L before Dijak actually injures the hell out of him. Take a seat. Oh, oh. can Gresham rally? Can he? Yes. Willie is the question. Nope. Oh, yeah, he does. Now, this gives Gresham separation. Yeah, he's got to take a breather or something. He's been absorbing too much punishment. This is the opportunity right now. Before he can take a breather, he's got to get some space. Mm. I'll tell you this this fight has been man tap. <laughs> I just see the sweat flying yeah. off of Dijak. Dijak's the same size as Grisham. With every hit. Oh, God. Oh. You think Grisham worried? No. Oh, my God. He's slipping in <laughs> shit over here. No. He's just getting him in a position. I think that's the first time somebody's tried a submission on the stage. Oh, my God. No. I've seen this. Oh. oh. That may have just given him the edge that he needed. A stomp right to the funny bone. That is one of my oh, least Dijak favorite wrestling man. moves. Hilarious about that. I'm, wait, I think Gresham's going to fly again. He is. No, oh, there he is. To the shoulder. Torpedo shoulder tackle. And. Oh. 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 I think he just bulldogged him oh, through man. the middle. That's one thing you got to know. When you piss off Gresham, boy, it's a whole nother game. He's feeling it right now. He is feeling hey, it. Hey, you got to do what you got to do, and this is his moment. Mm. He weathered the storm. Off the top. Yeah, now he's got to capitalize. He managed to get by, and now he's got to do something about it. Without a doubt. Number one unsigned talent on the independent circuit right now. Try me on it. Try me on it. He's definitely a talent that should be uh, I'm not saying they can. Oh! oh! my God, that is it. Tornado boot by Dijak. He put up a good fight. That right is in the jaw. Oh, no. Oh, no. Switch Counter. Down, roll up. Oh, my God. Cascades over. Trying to get in position. Crucifix mm. pin for the two. That arm to with the leg. Yeah, it took too long right, to get him locked get down. That pin and get that oh! Mm. Oh! Mm. Jesus! What the hell? I think Gresham forgot where he was at right now. How the hell is he standing up, man? Oh. He's instinct. Just tosses him. Throwaway suplex by Dijak. Good Showing Lord. why he is the young lion of the House of Truth and the standout of Beyond Wrestling right now. Please go right! 
Oh, this is back when Dijak was in uh, Ring of Honor. They just said House of Truth. Is this it? No. Uh-uh. Gets blocked. Switched over for the octopus. Dude. Can he? Can he? I'm amazed he's got the leverage. Like, there's only so much of Jonathan Gresham. He actually might tap out. The calling card hold of the Calamari. And Dijak's already lost his advantage. The one counter for this is to stand up under it. Look at Gresham, how he was working the, the finger manipulation, too, for just a second. Mm -hmm. It works at the thigh. Uh oh. Yeah, he wanted to take his uh, he wanted to take his focus off of getting out of the octopus and get that that hand in his periphery. But Dijak's so powerful in the legs, he might just oh. And he brings it back and putting more torque on that shoulder. He can't let Dijak pull that arm ahead to get leverage. If he can get leverage, he can pick him up. Baron, if you think, Baron. Oh! Oh no! That's a pin, though. Count it. What would your strategy be? It's a I, pin. I, I, I couldn't even tell you. Probably what Gresham is doing right now. Rely on my technical and, and submission skills. Bro, it's, it's a pin. Fucking count. Yeah, shoulders are down. Control now, but Dijak is not giving it up. He's still fighting out of this. How is he still fighting out of this, man? Why wasn't there a He's three count? A torn, cup before. This is he was on his back. Referee missed it, John. Gresham trying to sneak in those forearms, but his oh, thigh is, excuse me, his, excuse me, his oh, calf is covering it up. Oh. Cannonball. That'll do That's it. That's a hell of a way to escape. That's how you get a monkey off your back. Pretty much. Yeah. Big time maneuver right there to go ahead and reverse that. Big time move. I'm gonna tell you, Dajak did almost this is like, a, nuts. like a modified Finley roll to be able to get himself out of that. Yeah. Oh, this is a brawl. Dajak did not expect as much fight as come out of Grisham. I guarantee it. Folded him into a pretzel. Both men are spent, and I'm here to tell you, Dajak's show still. You see Jonathan Gresham, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm sure he's talented. And then you see him fight, and you're like, oh, he's a goddamn gremlin. Heard. Both men, they're battered, they're bruised, sweating. This is what combat is all about. There's no shame if either man takes the loss in here. And Grisham being goozled right now on the apron. No, absolutely no shame for either guy losing here. Both of these men are very, very this talented can't be good. individuals. I have no idea where you grab somebody by the throat on the apron. What's up, Vaughn? Grisham trying to fight it off. Oh, right on that engine arm. Smart for Grisham. Yeah, it looks really fun. He's standing on top of what got him to the uh, I think this is Gresham's, like, choose your own ass beating at this point. Shyster, man. Oh, my God, no. no. Do not hit that. Like, Gresham's always the one to fight back, but this has been a where can I get my moments in. Oh. Like here. Military oh. press land just press throws back, him. Dijak at least what the hell is Dijak doing? He can do it all. What the hell is he doing? Oh, oh, there it is. Oh. Got him. Yeah, that was a big I'm elbow done. from way out. out. And your winner. Jesus. Hey, Gresham fought his ass off. But oh, he always is. does. But yeah, for sure. In this fight, he definitely was in there. Trying to get his momentum, he just didn't have enough umph to get out from under Dijak. It's definitely a contrast uh, from the uh, the Keith Lee and uh, Brian Cage fight for sure. What a match! Put a pause on that. The crowd knew the assignment, thanking them both. Oh, a hundred percent. This is uh, from 2024, so I think the rest of the run out is, uh, is stuff that's happened since his release, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, or as I like to call it, getting his freedom. Uh, <laughs> this is Donovan Dijak taking on Aaron Rourke. It is beyond wrestling. Uh, so let's make it happen, John, in three, two, one, play. He 
wouldn't say Dijak's put on a little bit of size since uh, the previous matches because those were those were before his. Uh, Not a lot, but yeah, he's definitely bulked out some. Swap the levers around there at the last second. What the fuck are you doing, bro? So you're just getting into the wrong headspace with him. Oh! Not, uh, yeah. Yeah, that's the kind of shit you get fucking around with Dijak. There's that corner. Fuck around and he's find not, out. Rort just found dude, out. Dude, he's not there for the theatrics or the playing or the bullshit. He's not there for all that. He's there to kick the shit out of you and go home. Mm. Yeah, this has been downhill for Rourke since that right hand. Oh, shotgun dropkick. I mean, it has been, but at least he's trying to get the momentum back. Hmm. Nah, caught. On some side elbows. Broke himself free there. Is that a front handspring double double chop? But look, that just pissed him off. Mm. Mm. I don't know if John froze or not. Nope, he's there. Nope, didn't freeze. Big back right there. Just flops on him. But Dijak's just laughing at me. Mm. I think Dijak's just kind of toying with him right now. Cuts him off with the knee. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I don't think talking shit at Dijak is the way to play this out. At all. You just got caught. A suplex slam. Dijak's getting frustrated here. Oh. Oh, we're going to go into a crazy trade here. No, oh, we're shit. not. Tumbling work into a puddle.
Yeah, I don't think Rourke started this off well, and I don't think it's going to end well for him. No, I don't think so either. I think that initial exchange with Dijak coming out on top is uh, is kind of a pace setter here, and Rourke's just been trying to figure out a way to get any shots in since then. None of it has looked well for him. Ooh. Damn. Chanting for one more. Rourke would like a word with you. Yeah, he, he said he'd like to talk to you about that decision. <laughs> Jack might have just lit that fuse. Oh, lands on his feet. Code breaker. Opening the door here with some offense. Finally. Oh, did you get to it before me? Or did the I system did. pick it up? Nope, I got to it before you did. God damn it. You're sleeping over there. I was not sleeping. You're sleeping on the chat. Actually watching. <laughs> I was watching the match. I've caught two, actually. Two? Yep. One was caught by Twits. Oh, okay. I was like, what you mean? Can he get him? He does. Powerbomb takes Dijak down. I think he's as surprised as Dijak is. Oh, Meteor. Whoa. Near fall. We're glad for it. Ow. Oh, what a dichotomous chant there. <coughs> oh, he just... Snatched him by the throat. What well, goes I don't up? I think Rourke is going to like this much. He's fighting back. Well, he knows it's now or never. Once he gets him up in the air, it's not long before he drops. And it's usually the stop at the bottom that hurts you. Oh! Oh! Close call there. Crowd is into it. Oh, yeah. Blocks it. Mm. Again. Oh. Oh. Those gut shots, dude. Do you want to see the damnedest thing, John? What? Let me show you. Look at what is seriously what I'm dealing with right now. Where my feet's at is a 
200 pound dog or 120 pound dog, excuse <laughs> me. I don't know, I can't get the camera where I want it to go. But I have a Hulk right there laying on my feet. He says, but dad. <laughs> laying on my feet. <laughs> oh, good night. No. Right, Max? Yeah, he is right there. Just on the feet. Mmm. No! Rourke showing some heart. Oh, yeah. That was a close call. Turning into another good one. I mean, that seems to be what he puts on in here is good clinics. So. Man, I don't know. So far, that Gresham match is, is right Gresham's there. Gresham's <laughs> always a good bet for me because he does fight so fucking hard. And you forget what you're getting out of him until he's back in there. And you see it again. And you're like, oh, yeah. I forgot how much fights in that little box. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait. The Dijak not in a great place here. Oh! Ooh. That was almost whole bad. bump on his shoulder. Mm. Ooh. Mm -mm. Just oh. Oh. That was that was close into a cross race. Yeah, Rourke bringing a tenacious little ass hat here in this match. Nope. Uh oh. Oh, more side elbows. Works again for him. Oh, spinning blue oh. thunder bomb. Just a two. Very close, though. <clears throat> the timing of his kickouts are insane here. I'm talking. Yeah, he cuts him as close to the wire as possible. Uh, yeah. Like, no room for error, no room for hesitation. You will fuck the whole show up. <laughs> oh, Rourke. Back to his feet. Not enough umph to do damage to Dijak, though. No, just, just, oh, ran into that boot. He ate all of that soul. And I hope he liked the taste of it. No, he said there was too many seasonings and he'd like to send it back. Yeah, I have Oh, wait a second. This could put Dijak in a predicament. No, I think Dijak's got a counter out of this. Dijak's in control. That's mm. it. No, no, son of a bitch. Rourke said, "Fuck your prediction." I just told me to shut the fuck up. Uh, yes, sir. This is over when I say it's over, and you'll sit there and enjoy it. You're not lying.
He says, oh, no. Oh. Mm. I mean, I'll give Rourke credit. He's at least sitting up and taking these and delivering his own shots back. But, man, this fight could have been easier. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that forearm. Damn. Laying in those potato punches to the <laughs> there. He's just butterfly swinging on both hands. Oh shit! Dijax had enough. No. Oh. Roll up. Oh, two and three quarters. Mm. Dijak eats the boot there. And again. Shit. Oh. A third one for good measure. Spin kick. Split like a moonsault. No. Still just Bro, I am Jesus so bought Christ. into every one of these near falls right now. It is unfucking real. Well, because at this point, you don't know which one of them is going to actually get the near fall. Oh. Oh. Damn. Oh. Answer for Rourke there. This is going to be it. Uh. Goes for the pin. There it is. That's it. That will do. That will do, pig. That will do. What a match. Damn. Hard fought one for both men right here. Big victory for Dijak. I don't think he expected Aaron Rourke to deliver quite that hard. I didn't expect Aaron Rourke to deliver quite that hard. He's impressed me. It's again, it's yeah, the fight in that kid is, is good, yeah. Piece of why I really enjoy doing these spotlight shows because you know, I know what I'm going to see with Donovan. Uh, it's the other opponents that I have no idea, and it just helps broaden my horizons to other people in the business. Mm, what's Dijak got planned here? Some respect. Oh, I thought he was about to short him. Oh my god. No, Why I every time I see somebody do that, I am waiting on the fucking other shoe to drop. I like how uh, Donovan gave him center stage. Yeah, even with the win, he gave Roar his space to get his fan pop. All right, John, let's put a pause on that one. Uh, we're going to go over to Relentless Wrestling. I think this is from... This year, maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, it is Donovan Dijak taking on Chris Bay. Chris Bay is someone that, that John's on. He's on my spotlight list uh, to get to get a show done on at some point. Uh, so I think he's tremendous. He's uh, down in TNA right now uh, with uh, – he's part of the Bullet Club, one of the you know 4,000 members of it uh, between New Japan and TNA. A uh, hell of a tag team with Ace Austin. Uh, but uh, more impressive uh, as a singles competitor as well. So let's make it happen in three, two, one, play. Going face to face, head to head with Donovan Dijak like this is not going to work out for him. And there we go. 
Oh, great way Such to start the match for sure. Converts that into a headlock, trying to bring Dijak down to being his size. Ooh. Dijak trying Very to close to getting out. yeeted there. <laughs> but Bay will not did not let go. Chris Bay has got no, nah, he's got that on hold. That uh, let me go grab some and more drink. Like um, Running through my drinks like crazy. Hold on one sec. Be right back. Dijak's got that high and tight haircut. Bay has got all of the left. But he's got an impressive uh, yeah, upper body strength here. He's been able to, make, to maintain that side headlock on someone as big as Dijak. Dijak, though, taking advantage of Chris Bay's hair, pulling it back into the corner. Sends him hard into the opposite. Charging nope. Bay out of the way. Bay ducks a closing. Shoulder block to Dijak. Chris Bay now. Sling shots in over Dijak. Dodges the forearm. That, look at that. And a double stomp to the back of Dijak. Quick. Chris Bay has figured out his strategy. And it looks like he's going I'm gonna for try a, suplex. a vertical suplex. No. Nah. But Dijak just drops his weight, increasing that center of gravity, preventing that suplex. Charges across the ring with a chop. Chris Bay asking the crowd. Oh, well, I feel like this is going to cost you. Him do it again. Oh, nope. Up and out to the apron. Coming. Almost backdropped him to the floor. Oh. Chris Bay still completes the chop. Bay now making his way to the top row. Dijak. He's doing too sweet. It's definitely bull I think this is this year. Time. And Bay fell in a way no man wants to. Dijak mocking Chris Bay. But in mm. that time, Bay able to recover. Some fists. Oh! But Dijak pulls the legs out from under. The head hit the back of the, 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 back of the head hit the top turn, but cool. Might have been a two count. But if so, just barely. Chris Bay double top. His head landed on that turnbuckle, and he went crashing to the mat below. <coughs> Big stop from the massive Donovan Dijak. Dijak can now stalk Bay here. Dijak now. Big forearm into the small of the back of Chris Bay. And now just choking him out on that middle rope. No Ignoring fucks given. And why should you? Three. Guy that size. Do what you want to do. Bay now. Who am I to tell you no? <laughs> right. From Still only a one count. Chris Bay is formidable. And what a punch to the gut. Forum will side mm. head. Bay is showing zero fear of the disruptor. What an elbow. So that elbow. No pin. Straight into no a front mount. Dijak has making sure you understand. Punches. Now a cover. Two count. But Bay able to get the shoulder up. Dijak now. I love how Dijak just continues to taunt when he's the heel. And importantly, Dijak's a knee in the middle of Bay's shoulder blades. Just that extra bit of stank on it. But Bay now. Punches Broke free. Out. Big elbow to the side of the head. Bay now off the ropes. Ducks a clothesline. Leaps. Caught. That was Dijak not going to work. The body press. Backbreaker without taking him down. It just, oh, it just throws flings him. Like a sack of garbage. I was going to say for his week, but. Dijak now sizing up Bay. He's definitely got. Here's the next attack in mind. 
Crowd getting behind Cross. Bay. Big Running back side back. elbow. And now one oh, the there's side. that mean one. Welcome back, John. And a forearm across the yeah, that back elbow is a shot. No joke. Told Bay it's time to fly. Ooh. And fly he did. And that was a vertical Yeah, he gets a good five feet out of that. But a Six throw. feet, maybe. Bay still in this fight. Despite Don't the be frustrated. Efforts. Just hit him some more. So far, up down to the digest. Big elbow Ooh. drop. Nothing fancy from Dijak. No, Dijak's not a fancy fighter. <laughs> he's, he's on heel mode here, John. Is. Yeah, he, he's straight the up way it the is. Rope. Oh! Got the knees Took up. Too much time. Bay got the knees up. Mistake there from Dijak. And now Bay has an opening. Big punch. Forearm from Dijak. Bay doesn't want to be in here trading with Dijak. Oh, just a punch to the gut and another one. Unless you're getting like five to one, you don't want to be trading with Dijak. What a series of forearms on the side of Dijak's head. Oh, oh into that sleeper. Hangs him up. And he is deep. Taking Bay's momentum, putting him in that mm. sleeper. Jawbreaker. Yep, Put nice Bay. counter. Dropping down with that jawbreaker. Dijak charging in. Bay out of the way. Out of the way. Dijak runs right into the turnbuckle. Bay's evasive. I wonder if Bay's just not beating him into this at this point. Bay now. Series of punches to the gut. Ducks he definitely baited line. him into the corner. Now, He's baited him into the middle. To the side of the head. Catches the kick. European mm -hmm. uppercut. This is the shot. If he's going to get momentum, it's here. Shot. If Dijak can cut him off, he might have a prayer down. here, but it doesn't look good. Bang. Reversed. But comes off of the oh, clothesline. Rocked him with that flying lariat. Were it not for those ropes, that clothesline would have sent Donovan Dijak to the mat. Oh. Bay, though, coming in with another Big European. Uppercut. Slides to the outside, gets nice. the kick and up over the top, the the climbs the top the turnbuckle. Heading up to the top rope. Oh, oh, drop kick. Yeah. yeah. Both feet planted firmly onto Dijak. Two count. No, but you got the big man down. But Donovan Dijak gets the shoulder. Now you got to stay on him and capitalize. Exactly. It. He's going to have to. Work the leg, work the hamstring, keep him off the his crowd. feet, keep him on the mat. The reach is too much to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe -to -toe with him. Well, just the power aspect. Dijak's just too damn strong. So he tried this earlier. It did not work out for him. He's a him. threat if he can lift him. For that vertical suplex. Dijak resists. Bang. Going for it. Got him up a little higher. Dijak resists again. And now hitting that opener. Nope, Bay. this time it does over. not. He goes up and over. Gets a waist lock. Dijak breaks it. Dijak breaks that waist lock, though. Goes for a Out of the way, misses. gets him caught up. And another into Gary from Chris Bay. Bay now on the second rope. Leaping elbow Big elbow drop, drop over the middle. We've got two in. Dijak Just two. kicks out. Dijak elevated, so not only... Did he have the crushing blow of the elbow? But then Bay just rode him behind all the way Bay. down into the mat, driving him. Dijak, double tough, able to kick out of that maneuver. Bay now leaping. No, for an ace he just got caught. Dijak caught it. Bay though wiggles around, Oof. but gets met with that elbow to the side of the head. Dijak charging in. Gets the feet up. Boot to Chris Bay. Bay now up on the second row. Sizing up Dijak, wanting him to come in. Oh, but Dijak catches him. But Dijak just caught him. Went Look to the top too many times. Dijak was not having Dijak. that shit. Wait. And Dijak now. Oh. Has him by the throat. A choke power bomb. No. Bay just barely. 
the kicks. impact on that was great. What guts and will from the ultimate finesse. An unwillingness to accept defeat. Knowing how important the matches on this show are as it comes to next month at Northern Quest Casino. Bay. What do you think Bay has to do to finish this off? Has him sized up. I mean, that's Dijak a good start. That is a fantastic start right there. But he's got to stay away from, from fucking Dijak. He's got to capitalize on a mistake or create a, a situation like he's doing Ooh. right now. But he's got to stay on top of him. We, say, we see it all the time. Uh-oh. Mm. Mm. Turned him inside out. That spinning kick is still not enough to keep down Chris Bay. Both of these athletes have got to be wondering. What Solid chant from the crowd. To be able to put the other away. To claim victory. What were they chanting? Both these guys. Oh, okay, I was like, what the hell are they saying? Big man's not thinking of flying, is he? Yes, he is. Dijak oh, yeah, he's definitely row. thinking of flying. Dijak's going up higher. Ropes are too loose the for me on that side. On I don't the like top it. Rope. Leaping. No, oh, oh, he's out of the way. Out of the way, avoids that moonsault. Yeah, I would be wanting to avoid that with all caution. <laughs> no water in the pool, as they say. And now Chris Bay ascending the turnbuckles himself. Leaps. Big what frog splash. How high did he get on that? No. Not high enough to hold down Donovan Dijak for the three count. Chris Bay now. Counter to mm. Dijak keeping a hold of that arm after that super kick. Oh, we got it. Bay oh, Bay, Bay with the brain buster. buster. And no. So close. I don't know how many people. He snapped that in. I like that. That was smooth. Bay now. That was also very smooth. He is. Dijak's catch on that. He rode his shoulder all the way to the floor. That was the safest shit I've ever seen in some crazy shit. Well, that was absolutely the most insane, safe, over the top outside dive I've ever seen. Now has Bay. Oh, oh. Man. man, if you were going to kill him, Dijak, just let him miss you on the outside, pull a Samoa Joe, let him go head first into the concrete. That would have been more painless. Dijak now. You didn't have to do him that way. He's got to be thinking. The hardest part of the ring. For sure. As all commentators tell us. Right into the ace crusher. Uh oh. From Bay. Bay now leaping. Ace oh. Crusher. Oh. Could this be it? Chris it Bay is. is. Bay with the counters. Out of the dodger. Nice. David has you the asked, to there's your Hell answer. Hell of a win. No, we talked about it earlier. He had to stay away from the reach of Dijak. He has too much power at his advantage, and he can catch you off guard. He had to utilize his speed and utilize those counters, and that's exactly what he did, and it paid off. Well done. So, let me get your final thoughts on what you're seeing tonight. So, I wouldn't say that his repertoire of moves is massive, but the ones that he has, the, the moves in his library, are all devastating. The man is a brawler from the get-go. You want to talk about a fight fighter? Dijak's it. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody in the ring. He can work a big man. He can work a small man. And he's terrifying when he goes up and puts air underneath his ass. I, I always am so fucked up by a big man that can fly like that. It's fucking scary. I thought what we saw tonight was really impressive. Uh, you know, Chris Bay, we got to see Brian Cage, we got to see him in there with Keith Lee. 
Uh, Jonathan that was a great Gresham, fight. like this is just it's been the Gresham a, fight might have been my spot at my match of the night. That fight was fucking nasty for I, a little guy like Gresham. Woo, one hundred percent agree. I th- well, I mean, I think all of them were good, but I, that one stands out to me just because of that massive Gresham. size difference. I think mean, Gresham was yeah, he was scrappy as fuck. Um, yeah. Unbelievable! I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can't believe that they dropped the ball with this guy in the WWE. But a uh, huge shout out to him for uh, getting that release and getting back out there because there's a shitload of companies out there that would love to have him a part of it, and he is already making some serious rounds. Uh, you know, uh, going overseas and, and doing some other things uh, all over the United States and all over the world. So shout out to uh, Mr. Dijak. I had fun, John. I hope you did as well. No, oh, definitely. It was definitely a good deep dive for me. Uh, new talent is always fun to watch, especially when that talent's name is in as many mouths as Dijax is. Um, I see him on Twitter. I see a lot of his highlight stuff, but I had not seen any matches. And I think that will change. Uh, dude is highly talented, very aggressive, very sure of himself, toe-to-toe with anybody you put in the ring with him for sure. Um, while he isn't as flashy a fighter as some, I appreciate that. I, I like to keep it simple, stupid. And uh, the basics are, are king for a reason. Uh, and he makes him look real good. Uh, 100%. Uh, that was another piece of, of you know, seeing tonight. Anybody he's in the ring with, he makes him look like a star. Like, uh, just like they belong. Uh, that Rourke match, that slipped my mind. That one, too. That was a sleeper for me. Uh, you know, just being yeah, you able don't to expect- have, yeah, being able to have yeah, you, all I these different kinds of matches with with different guys of different sizes and and make it believable is something that uh, is is it's a testament. So, yeah, for a big guy like Dijak, you either make everybody look good, and a lot of times you make yourself look bad, or you don't. It, it's the the big man fallacy that you know you either win and look like a monster or you have to lose and look like a chump and a lot of people fall victim to that we saw Dijak win and lose tonight and in none of the cases that he lost he looked bad doing so no uh next thursday night john next thursday night we're gonna i'm so excited we're gonna shoot an there's episode. been a lot of we're there's been a lot of talk on the internet we're going to be shooting uh, uh, a, a, a very special Australian spotlight show. Uh, if you were watching a NXT, lot of news, yeah, if you're watching NXT, uh, you may have saw a, a little teaser. Delta Brady is coming, and we are going to spotlight her next week. We have had the pleasure. The of, entire WWE is not ready. They're not. They're not just the NXT. The whole company. It's not ready. Not. They're not, and but they will be. Uh, we're going to take a look at, at Delta Brady next week, and uh, really looking forward to that. I sh- we shot a show on Delta a while back, but I never put it out. A long time ago. Yeah, I never, I never put it out, never released it. Um, and then I think uh, when I cleaned my computer, uh, it lost it. So I, I want to I well, shoot we another. Were, we were waiting because we knew that the signing was coming. We didn't want to like put a bunch of stuff out there and, and have anybody get upset about it. But now we know where she's going. Now we know what's going on. And there's a there's an entire library of stuff that she's done to get where she's at that she deserves to have seen. There's a lot of people out there that have never heard of her. And if you're a fan of this channel, I know that I'm not talking about you because we've been talking about her for a year. When we saw Delta... We knew it wasn't a matter. It's, you know, that motto, it's not if, it's when. And the when came a lot faster than a lot of people gave it credit, but we expected it to have already been done long before it was. So to to know that now she's getting the opportunity that we both knew that she deserved from the get-go, fabulous. I love seeing it. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So that'll be next Thursday night right here at 7 p.m. Eastern live on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching over on YouTube, go down below. Make sure that you follow the links to all the the content that uh, that we've shown tonight. Uh, head on over to their YouTube pages, their social medias. Give them a follow. Give them a subscribe. 
Uh, Donovan's uh, social medias will be linked down below. Give him a follow. It's the easiest way as you can support independent wrestling on any form and fashion because it's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, like, share, uh, and retweet their stuff. It does nothing but help push the algorithm for them uh, because without them, we don't have anything to watch, guys. So uh, just do me that one little favor. That's all you're going to do. Uh, John, take us home, man. Let's get out of here. Man, guys and gals, it has been a pleasure having you here, share the passion for the industry of wrestling with us as we share ours with you. This has been an incredible show. Donovan Dijak is a, a new talent to my radar, not one that I haven't known the name of, but one I haven't seen yet, and he definitely proves why he's been all over the world as a top star, and the fact that he's been in the ring with so many incredible talents is a testament to that. Now he's out on the loose, in the wild, around the world, fighting anywhere he can. And, you know, I got to say, as an indie, as, as an indie fan – I think it's good for that industry especially because a guy like Dijak out on the scene that could pop up anywhere is always entertaining. Guys and gals, it has been a pleasure. Go down below, follow the links, do the merch things, even for us, for them. For anybody we've had a show that we've got a link for, they're down below. Check out the VODs out on YouTube and what we got going on right here on our Twitch page. If you're not behind the curtain with us, you should be. Don't miss a beat what we got going on back here. New shows all the time, new interviews coming up this month. We're going to be back to it tomorrow and next week and the week after that, maybe. We'll see how the schedule plays out. We've got all kinds of new stuff coming up for you guys. Man, we have been filming our brains off over this last few weeks. We've got tons of content coming out somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. We haven't even decided where all of it's going to go yet. Insert place name here. You know, you know. It's been a pleasure. Ladies and gentlemen, we love each and every one of your faces, and we'll see you next time. Ben